welcome to Cisco Small Business Video On Demand. I'm going to demonstrate how easy it is to set up IPsec VPN client with an RV320. IPsec VPN client is easy to configure, giving you a secure connection, adding growth and mobility to your business. First, I'm going to demonstrate how to configure the Cisco VPN client to connect to the RV320. After you've logged into the router, click on VPN, and then click on Client to Gateway. Next, you want to click on Easy VPN, and then enter your desired tunnel name. For this demonstration, I'm going to use Sales. Then enter your password. It is recommended for security reasons that your password is at least eight characters long. You will have two options for your tunnel mode. You have full tunnel and split tunnel. For this demonstration, I'm going to use split tunnel. A split tunnel allows you to access your remote office through the VPN while all internet browsing goes through your local network. A full tunnel routes all traffic through the VPN, including internet browsing. After you've chosen your tunnel mode, verify your local subnet, then click Save. After you saved your settings, you'll be back at the VPN summary page. If you prefer to change your virtual IP range, you may do that here. Always make sure that your virtual IP subnet is not the same as your local subnet. Next, you'll need to click on User Management and add a new user. For this demonstration, I'm going to create a user, Sales1, and then enter at least eight characters for the password. Then for the group, for IPsec VPN client, leave it unassigned, then click Save. Next, click on VPN, and at the summary page, remember the group name. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to configure the Cisco VPN client software. After you've installed the software, click on New, enter a name under the connection entry. You may also add a description. I'm going to add VPN to Office. Under the host, you want to add the public IP address of the RV320. For group authentication, the name will be sales. Then enter the password of the VPN group. I use Cisco 1234 Bang. Then click Save. After you've clicked Save, simply click Connect, and then you'll be prompted to log into the remote network. I'm going to add the username and password of the user I created. I'll click OK. Now I'm authenticated and connected to the remote network. Next, I'm going to demonstrate how to set up a third-party IPsec VPN client. After you log into the router, click on VPN, then click on Client to Gateway. Next, click on Group VPN, and then enter your tunnel name. Under Remote Client Setup, for the remote client, choose Microsoft VPN Client. For the IPsec setup, for Phase 1 DH group, I'm going to use Group 2. For Phase 1 encryption, I'm going to use AES-256. And for authentication, I'm going to use SHA-1. For the Phase 1 SA lifetime, I'm going to use 3600. For Phase 2 DH group, I'm going to use Group 2. For the encryption, I'm going to use AES-256. For the Phase 2 authentication, I'm going to use SHA-1. 
And for the Phase 2 SA Lifetime, I'm going to use the default 3600. And then enter your pre-shared key, and then click Save. After you've saved your settings, log into the PC that has the third-party IPsec VPN client. After you've installed the Greenbow VPN client software, click on Configuration, and then launch the wizard. Keep the current settings a router or a VPN gateway, then click Next. Under the IP or DNS public, enter the public address of the RV320. Next, enter your pre-shared key, then verify that the IP private internal address matches the local subnet of the RV320. Then click Next, then click Finish. Then click on Tunnel and verify that the remote LAN address and subnet mask are correct. Next, enter the encryption, authentication, and group number of Phase 2 of the VPN settings on the RV320. Then click on Gateway. Under the IKE settings, make sure that the encryption, authentication, and key group match Phase 1 on the VPN router. Click Save, and then double-click on the tunnel, and now we are connected. That concludes this demonstration of the IPsec VPN client to our RV300 series router. Here is a list of more Cisco Small Business devices that may also suit your business needs. For more information, go to www.cisco.com. If you need technical support, please call 1-866-606-1866. Thank you for choosing Cisco Small Business, and I'd like to thank you for watching.